Hello, this is Dr. Shweta Aratya and welcome to the Limitless Brain Lab channel. Thank you for the likes, subscribes and shares. This means a lot to us. Our experiments continue in the space of bridging science and spirituality. We are also requesting some sponsors who can make us uh, a facilitation for big trials. We do want to continue in this space because we feel that ancient wisdom is extremely powerful and if we are able to reinvigorate this interest for the younger generation, we will create health and happiness for all. So today's topic, if you are struggling with overthinking, over emotions. Some people just cannot describe themselves. They are depressed. They feel anxious. There is spent up emotions. They want to cry, but they cannot cry it out. A lot of people suffer from this emotional choking or emotional blocks. They want to express themselves, but they just cannot express. Now, a lot of people are living currently with these kind of emotional problems. Now, we were a uh, as, as a humanity, as a race, we had to evolve intellectually and we had to evolve emotionally. What happened in this race, and I call it the silly, stupid rat race, that we started to evolve intellectually. We started to get on degrees and we started to work towards all the progress, the industry one, two, three, four, but nobody took the mental wellness seriously. When in the process of intellectual stimulation, we started to ignore the emotional stimulation. Now, in the brain, there are three parts. Brain stem, which is taking care of my basic survival processes. The limbic system or the emotional brain, which is taking care of all the scanning of the threats, the fight, flight, fear, freeze coming from this. It's also good for having love, care, compassion, empathy, provided it is under the control of the prefrontal cortex. Now, prefrontal cortex or the front portion of the brain is sort of key. It's, it's the quintessential thing for the regulation of emotions for control of emotions, for all the things to put it into the right practice, for making sure that you're calm, you're relaxed, you can have amazing attention. However, what is happening currently is that PFC is not functioning well. The emotional limbic system is so much functioning. There's so much of overruling of that limbic system that you're always in that constant threat. You're always in that constant fight. Now, the interesting neuroscientific fundamental and fact is that limbic system has no verbal output. It cannot express itself. It is only the feeling center. It is only the center which will acknowledge that I am unhappy, but it will not be able to articulate the unhappiness which is coming out of it. The entire verbal output, talking output is sitting in the prefrontal cortex. So I will not be able to even talk about a certain problem when I'm emotionally choked. Now, I never understood this years back. You know, we would have a tussle, let's say with my friend and she would just say, I want space. I don't want to talk right now. I don't want to communicate. Why they don't want to communicate? Because that limbic system is so much powerful and it does not have any verbal articulation. Prefrontal cortex is shut and then you just cannot come out and talk. Now, I had just the completely the reverse. Even when I was young, I would say, let's talk about it. Let's write it out. And Believe me, those kind of emotional journaling has helped a lot in my life. I want you to grab a pen, a pen and a paper. I want you to close your eyes and think of the time when you were hurt, when you somebody told you something. What was the feeling that you are able to generate? Now, I want you to grab that pen and paper and write down those feelings. Believe me, for seven days, from one to seven, I promise, if you do this, every single day, you will open up a lot of emotional pent-up trauma that you have been harboring. Remember, conscious mind or conscious brain is only 10%. 90% of it is subconscious. All the things happening around are getting programmed within us. If we are not aware, if I am not consciously addressing the subconscious, it will continue to have that rhythm, that pattern, that reaction. And that is nothing but what we call as the patterns from the universe. The universe is all inside here. Yatha pinde, tatha brahmande. Tatha brahmande, yatha pinde. We have been talking about this in a few of our previous videos as well. So, there is a small little uh, thing called amygdala. It's like a small almond-shaped structure sitting right within the limbic system. The amygdala hijack what happens when you cannot think straight. Suddenly there is an argument which is going on. You're fully angry. 
you're not in your state and then suddenly you realize i should not have said those words now where did those words come from those words actually came from an unregulated or non regulated motor output or the verbal output that is the reason why then you repent by the time your prefrontal cortex is now awake but it's already the words have gone out you've already heard someone if you are one of those people who cannot even express anger you keep feeling and penting up the emotions take a pen and a paper for 7 days i am going to share an emotional journal here with you to uh, send us this form and we will be happy to share this emotional journal write down all the feelings that you have every single point you articulate bring out the words for example i am feeling sad I am not feeling to talk to anybody. I don't like if somebody talks to me. I am feeling very agitated. I am feeling not to address a certain this. I am feeling lost. Please were articulate those things and then you will see the difference in the limbic firing. The next time when that comes to you, your conscious mind or your pre-FC is already prepared. It has already shifted into the next set of regulatory cycle. And you will be wondering, wow, such a simple practice? Yes, it can be extremely powerful. Do you want to manifest a dream life? A dream car? An amazing relationship? Do you want to manifest your profession where you are at the top? Well, people say manifestation is manipulation, manifestation is not possible. Believe me, from the point of view of neuroscience, it is just reframing the mindset from the poverty mindset to the abundance mindset. There are steps to it. There is a way in which you can do that. and this particular neuroscience manifestation course is one of the popular courses which we are doing right now and i will bring you some fascinating facts and if you do practice consistently over a period of time i guarantee manifestation is not just possible it is very easily doable so join me on this course of the neuro manifestation module where i meet all of you and together we live a beautiful amazing happy and abundant life Now there is also some people who are very introvert they they cannot express it outside that is where also the journaling the emotional journaling comes into play start writing it down let's say end of the day you had certain moments where you were frustrated certain moments where you felt bad you felt bad but you did not write it out and hence your body had to process it inside all the overthinking is nothing but over emotionalization lack of rationality lack of separating yourself from the mind you are the mind you continuously think inside your mind and that is where you land up having the problems hence pick up your pen and paper start writing it down give your prefrontal cortex a little articulation start emotionally journalizing and you will see the changes in your overthinking capabilities also if you are able to as soon as you write it down try to just witness what you have written down try to separate yourself from the mind i always say put that mind on table now look at what you have written remember that rationalization from the prefrontal cortex text will now help you go beyond where you are stuck so thank you so much for being with us in this journey at the limitless brain lab a small yet effective and powerful tool for taking you from one level to the other level this is what we want at the lab we want each of you to remain healthy happy and wise thank you so much and signing off please do like subscribe and share every little point of yours every little help of yours is making a big difference to us